How you doing? This is the Rogue Clone Trooper channel and today we're getting back to our fiberglass build. Right, so the last time you've seen this uh, we just finished putting it all together and it's had a few coats of paint now so that's all ready to go. Same with the chest armour. So the tummy armour admin armor we've got in there. Um, I've repainted my hand guards. I need to redo the gauntlets. Um, but what we're going to do in this episode I'm talking about my armor so I've been repainting it because it got very badly damaged there over the year um, so this is the rest of the fiberglass build um, I'm still working on making this into a two-part now so that's gonna be in a separate video but for today we're going to talk about weathering and how to paint it up okay so what I've done so far is I have been um, put a black undercoat on to all the parts and using Vaseline to put on it uh, and then what we do then is once you spray over the white paint you can rub it off and you end up with chip marks like this on your paint so I'll show you how to do that today also what we're going to do is we're going to put on the green stripes onto my shoulders and onto my elbow pads and we're also then going to do um, the chest plate as well and if we have time we're also going to do some weathering on this as well so I've been studying other people's methods of weathering so we're going to go through some of the stuff that I've come up with from uh, YouTube and other people and we're going to try that um, this time my sergeant's costume is changing dramatically okay and uh, what I mean by that is it looks like he's going to have been through heavy battles on Geonosis uh, at the first battle so that's why his costume is going to be really really dirty really really worn out and he's been through the hell and back um, what I'm going for this year I'm going to be changing the costume slightly um, that's going to be another reveal so I'm not going to tell you too much on that but basically I'm trying to do like a recon trooper there is no such thing as a clone trooper recon trooper um, there is a scout troopers and there's the commandos but there is no recon trooper so I thought to myself I think at the beginning of the Clone Wars when everyone was still using the phase one costumes um, phase one armor should I say sorry um, I'm sure they must have had some type of recon units that went out to reconnaissance the areas looking for uh, clankers so that's what this guy is going to be okay okay guys so uh First of all, I do apologise for any strange noises in the background. Uh, I do live outside a park and actually building some new houses around. So you might hear some screams from kids and, and banging from, from builders. Um, and again, as you all know, I'm doing all this in my apartment on my balcony. So I do apologise, but we do what we can. Okay, we do what we can. So today, anyway, we're going to... Um, we're going to section this off and we're going to oh, get all this ready here. we're going to start painting up these parts okay now a little trick that I picked up um, is that I don't mask off the whole lot I actually use um, salon wrap or cling film whatever you want to call it um, to help me mask off stuff uh, this was something that was put on to me by another maker and it works great I did this originally for my spraying and I'll do it again so I'll show you how I did this you've probably seen it in some of my other videos um, when I was originally building these parts but as you know I am repainting it all okay so I've got some regular masking tape here uh, that I bought at my local hardware store um, nothing special about it sorry if you're wondering what this weird stuff in it that's Vaseline uh, underneath so if I rub it it leaves little marks like this and I have that on it because I want to have 
paint chips. Oh, my armor got to work yeah. out where I want my line to be. measuring this I'm just eyeballing it as I do with a lot of my stuff as you probably if anyone's is watching my videos um, there is people out there who will literally measure everything and uh, unfortunately I'm just not one of them so I'm gonna eyeball this now taking that that's my center so okay the magic of YouTube so I've gone and I've just put my guidelines for all the parts uh, on everything now okay so I know what I'm gonna paint so now I just need to cover up the other pieces with clean film which I am not going to want covered yay all right now first bit I'm gonna cover up is this guy okay Now you don't have to be too accurate with this stuff. You do have to cover the parts you want to cover. So if I match it up pretty close to what I want, and then the rest of it will stick to itself, which is pretty cool. And it's quite easy to do, and you're thinking, well, how is it going to stay in the place? With your finger, put a bit of water on it, and then cling film will actually stick stick to the water and stop it from sliding around and so you can get it pretty much into position that you want before you masking tape down but either way it's fine now I can gently wrap this around but I don't want to be covered green paint and I definitely don't want my silicone parts so I'm gonna start wrapping all these up and then I'll get back to you okay guys so we're back um, I just wanted to show you the difference of besides covering it up completely like this for big large areas trying to use cling film actually works really good okay so I just wanted to show you the difference on those um, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to put some more Vaseline on the outside here um, mainly so now once I spray the green onto it that it will put up some white I want the edges to be a slight bit pulled and this so I'm putting on some Vaseline just more Vaseline. You don't have to go completely mad with it, but at the moment I'm just putting some around the edges. So I don't get complete straight lines. I get a little bit of wear and tear. On it. Now there's other ways of doing this. Some people also use latex. Uh, I have used mustard in the past, but for the moment, um, what I've got handy is some Vaseline. Um, I'm using an old Sharpie pen with no lead in it, and I'm using that also to 
lay down some of the Vaseline. What this means now is that when this Vaseline comes off, unlike the one underneath, which will show up some black, this one will show up bits of white. So just give it a nice little bit of contrast. I don't want too many of these now. Okay. And, uh, so that's the shoulder pieces done. I'm going to put them to one side. Ready for painting. Get these bits up. Again, I want to get a bit of my finger and I'll rub it around edges here. So I want to have look like a bit of wear and tear. Paintwork. Again we're gonna put some now, this isn't too white because the black kept coming through. But uh over here which will be great. So these parts now are all ready for painting so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go out, spray these down, uh, let the paint dry and then we're going to come back and I'll show you how the peeling works on them okay. Okay so this uh, as you can see I've spray painted everything this has been drying now for about a little over an hour and a half um, so it's pretty dry should be no problems. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'll show you what happens when you rub off the Vaseline. You get these lovely paint chips all the way around. masking tape there. Enough. as you can see now we have these lovely chip lines on the paint show that it's been worn away get them back up This is the first part of my weathering. Um, as you can see it's turned out pretty well. I'll do this now to all the other parts and I'll get back to you. So there we have it. This is everything then with the Vaseline rubbed off and all the masking tape taken off and cling film. And as you can see it's all turned out really nice. Um, it's hidden a lot of my own bad workmanship um, so I'm really happy with that they still have to be painted in black again but as you can see they look great now if anyone's wondering what green I'm using um, I'm using the Rust-Oleum camouflage and this is just army green okay um, the Rust-Oleum OD army green that's what I'm using on it um, and it seems to work out very well now it's really nice. Um, I do have a problem with it sometimes that it doesn't match some of the paints that I've used in the past so uh, I have had to redo what paint that I use as the whites and the undercoats um, to match the Rustoleum. But that's really it. So this is only a short video. Um, 
In the next video, I'm going to show you uh, how I'm going to weather the rest of the costume as well. In the meantime, I'm going to put the ranking on the chest armor and redo my gauntlets as well. Um, the only thing we'll have to do after that then is do some of the restrapping of the thigh armor and some other parts as well. And then we're nearly finished. So see you back in the next video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments box below or go over to my Facebook page. Um, it's easy to find. Just type in Rogue Clone Trooper and you'll find my page. Just drop over there and ask away. Say hello. Um, remember, try to leave nice comments. Nasty comments or comments, uh, condescending comments will be just deleted. Okay. We're all here to help each other out. I'm just trying to pass on some of the experience that I have making this, this type of fiberglass clone armor so you guys don't make the same mistakes and you can make the choice then. Do you want to buy fiberglass armor or go the extra mile and buy the ABS plastic armor instead? Okay. So I hope this video has been helpful. As always, hit the like button below and may the force be with you.